Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to make Caribbean Trinidad style stew chicken. To see the ingredients I used in this video, please keep watching. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel cooking with SJ today we are going to be doing stew chicken and I'm just going to go through this real quick so that this video won't be so long um, this is the chicken that I'm going to be using I'm going to be using the breast tenderloins um, they're just simple and easy they're already strips I'm just going to pretty much dice them up instead of using a whole chicken and cleaning it and cutting it and gutting it out and everything like that um, olive oil just to be on the healthy side my favorite seasoning which is going to be the roasted garlic and herb. I have some ginger, onions, rosemary, thyme, tomatoes, uh, my favorite rice, which is jasmine's rice, uh, red peppers, ketchup. This is green seasoning here that I made. Uh, this is just the remaining of it that I have. I'm going to make a fresh batch using this stuff right here. Um, a few cloves of garlic, cilantro, parsley, a lime, um, scallions, rosemary, thyme, and ginger. And we're going to make the green seasoning first, and I'll show you guys exactly what to do. Let's get started. Okay, so the first ingredient that you will want to take, or first herb, is parsley. It could be any type of parsley that you like. However, I, I normally go for the curly parsley. Um, and I just pretty much just cut about this much from it, from the bush. And I'll put that to the side so that I can chop some of that up and throw it into my chicken. So we're just going to sit that right there. And then I'll take some of um, cilantro. And I'll take more of this because this is what I like more. And I'll take that and I'll chop that off the bush. And I'll put that to the side so I can add some of that into my um, chicken also. And now I'm just going to go ahead and rinse this off. So we have some fresh clean herbs. Make sure all of that sand and all of that dust and dirt and everything is off of it. Go ahead and just wring it out. And then I'm just going to set that right there. And I have already some green seasoning that I made previously. This is just a little bit. I'm just going to use this as the excess water instead of applying water to it. And I'm just going to stuff this in there. And green seasoning is very great for your food, your chicken. I'm, you know, partially Caribbean. So this is the things we like to do with our food. And I am going to take a fresh lime. And I'm going to cut this in half. And I'm going to... All right, so I have my thyme here, I have my garlic here, and I have a small piece of ginger. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw all of this into my blender. And I am going to blend it up. Okay, guys, so I have my chicken here. I diced them up already. Just to kill time and i'm going to throw this in this bowl throw them in this bowl and i'm going to rinse my chicken off nice and clean i should have got an extra lime so i could rinse it off with the lime it is what it is you know so i'm just gonna rinse. okay so i rinsed my chicken off and i just took a little bit of the apple cider vinegar uh two capfuls and i just poured it in there rinsed it off with hot water just to kill the germs i normally take a lime but i used it for my green seasoning so I don't have any more. Now I'm going to chop up my scallions, my tomatoes, my onion, um, and I'm gonna throw my green ginger, green ginger, and I'm gonna go throw my green seasoning and some thyme, rosemary, and. There's something about this girl, man. From around my way Never try to hold back your feelings But it just wouldn't stay But when I finally found the words to say I wanted to run away Simply run away Yes sir, that's her But it was 
wasn't like that back when I met her Yes sir, that's Alright, so I have my um, tomatoes, onions, green seasoning, well my parsley and cilantro Now I'm just going to be seasoning my chicken and everything with my normal seasonings and this is called the Roasted Garlic and Herb, and this is by McCormick. And I'm just going to, I'll probably use more of this one than anything else because this is my favorite. And then this is lemon pepper, just to give it a little kick. Not too much. This is Fiesta Lime. I like this one too, but not too much. This is organic garlic powder. And then we have our famous Goya adobo. Is that what it's called? Adobo? Is it called adobo? My pot spoon here. And just mix it. Leave in the comments below what's your favorite dish to make. This is one of my favorite dishes. I can eat this all anytime. All right, so now that I have all of that mixed up, this is what it looks like. It's nice and nice and yummy. Nice and yummy. Now I have my green seasoning. I'm just gonna apply this to it. You can go a little, you can go a lot, just whatever your preference is, you know. It's not gonna hurt you. It's all natural herbs. Just I just use that much. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this in. Oh, this takes me back home to my country. So I allow my pot to heat up, and now I'm just going to take my olive oil and I am going to open it. It opens, and I'm going to apply my oil. And I'm going to let that warm up, let that get nice and hot. And then I'm going to take my sugar. This is how we get the brown color for the stew chicken. We've got to caramelize the sugar. So you put that much sugar in there. That's about good enough. Just let that sit there and let that cook. Make sure your stove is on high. Just let it brown. And when it browns, I'll come back and I'll show you. Something about this girl, man From around my way Never try to hold back your feelings But it just wouldn't stay And when I finally found the words to say I wanted to run away Alright, you see how we closed the pan And all of the sauce is now at the bottom This is the water that it caused by itself Now we're just going to add our last touch Which is the secret ingredient to the Caribbean stew chicken and that is ketchup so we're just going to apply just a little bit of ketchup in here just to give the sauce a thicker filling and I'm going to mix that in and here is you guys finished product nice simple easy and delicious thank you guys for watching i'll see you on my next one don't forget to like comment share and subscribe